Live from the CBS Bay Area studios, this is KPIX 5 News. We will carry his memory with us for the rest of our lives. Now at 11, emotions run high at San Francisco City Hall today. The massive turnout of mourners paying tribute to Lloyd Mayor Ed Lee. But first, new questions tonight on whether the Trump administration will fire special counsel Robert Mueller. What a Bay Area congresswoman now says about the possibility. Congresswoman Jackie Spears spoke to us a few hours ago in San Francisco. KPX 5's Joe Vasquez on what she said as well as President Trump's response tonight. I caught up with Congresswoman Jackie Speer here at City Hall this afternoon following Mayor Ed Lee's memorial service. She tells me the rumor about the firing of Mueller is very strong. It's just the, the rumors that swirl around uh, the Capitol hallways. It's unverified, admits Democratic Congresswoman Jackie Speer, but also very specific. She says she hears the president get rid of special counsel Robert Mueller as soon as next week. The rumor last week was that he was going to fire him on the 22nd of December when Congress is no longer in session, we're all home, we're all celebrating the holidays, and it would be a uh, stroke of madness if the president were to do that. As he returned from Camp David tonight, reporters asked the president if indeed he plans to fire Mueller. No, I'm not. The president also says nothing will be found on his transition team's emails, which are now in the hands of the special counsel. I can't imagine there's anything on him, frankly, because as we said, there's no collusion. There's no collusion whatsoever. In a seven-page letter, the president's transition team lawyer describes Mueller's acquiring of the emails as unlawful adding that the special counsel's office has extensively used the materials in question. The emails, it turns out, were obtained from the General Services Administration, a federal agency. Republican Senator John Cornyn says while firing Mueller would be a mistake, he is concerned about two investigators that were dismissed from the probe for sharing anti-Trump text messages. I think uh, these conflicts of interest jeopardize the integrity of his investigation. Joe Vasquez, KPIX5.